It's been quite a while since we talked about Project L, everyone, but to be fair, it's been a while since we had a real reason to, but now we've got a great reason. New looks at the game and how it's shaping up, as well as new details and information. So I'll try not to waste too much of your time and remember to like and even possibly subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Okay, let's get into it. Now, first off, allow me to just gush about how the game seems to be coming along. Every time we see this game, it just looks better and better, and this time is no exception. And I mean that mostly just from a visual standpoint. The art, movement, and animations always seem more refined from the last time we've seen the game. And I love seeing the progress. But this time, we're also getting to see the UI, character intros, and even a little bit of the character select, which allows us to better understand the targeted character art style and overall visual visual design style. And I do like the UI and visual aesthetic. I don't know if I absolutely love it, but I do like it. It's sort of this minimalistic sporty look that uses less aggressive shades of colors against a lot of black backgrounds and white text. It's ultimately visually pleasing enough, and more importantly, it makes information easy to display as well as making the much brighter and bolder art of the characters themselves stand out. And I do love the style of the characters themselves. They look great in motion and against those aforementioned toned down backgrounds of the UX and UI colors. Sorry if all of that sounded dorky and unnecessary, but presentation is a very important thing. The man who said never judge a book by its cover probably had no idea how to showcase his talent. My point is that visually the game is looking really good. I also like that characters seem to have two separate intros based on if they're the starting character or the secondary tag character. It would also be cool if certain characters with significant enough ties to each other had special intros with special dialogue like in Mortal Kombat. Although in MK every combination of character has specific dialogue, but I'm just proposing something more feasible for what Project L is doing. So maybe if Misfortune fights Gangplank or something, we get like a special intro with dialogue specific to them or possibly even special team dialogue like say if Vi and Caitlyn are on teams, you'd get a special Piltover's Finest intro or something, I don't know. Don't hold your breath for that to happen, but it would be cool. Who knows, maybe that's why in all of this gameplay, Jinx wasn't playable because her and Echo have one of those special verses or team up intros. And they might not be ready to show those off just yet. Gotta save stuff for Evo, you know? <laughs> but I don't know, I'm just making all that up. Point is the game is looking good, but how the game has progressed visually is not all we learn because for a while now we've known that Project L is a 2v2 tag based fighting game. However, we now have confirmation that it is a team based fighting game, meaning you and a friend can each take control of one character on a team and face off against two opponents doing the same thing. But you aren't restricted to that, you don't need a friend to play, you can still just play 1v1 with you and your opponent controlling both your own two characters. Or or even one team with two players, each controlling a character versus one person controlling both their own characters. You can do whatever combination you want, basically. And this is very cool. More ways to play is always cool. I think MK9 had an option like this with its tag system, where you and a friend could each take control of a character. I think that's right, but you know, it's been a long time. Regardless, this makes the isolated idea of fighting games online more approachable to a lot of people, I'm sure, because sometimes losing and learning alongside someone can take the sting out of it a bit. There's also the fact that some people just want the option to blame others for their failings, <laughs> especially League of Legends and MOBA players, so this is perfect. Now along with all of this, we also got some new gameplay details, mainly what Project L is calling the Fuse System. The Fuse System is like a special playstyle perk that you pick before a match. For example, one fuse is called 2x assist, which lets you swap out in the middle of a combo twice instead of just once. There's one called double down that allows you to swap during your ultimate right into your tag partner's ultimate. And there's one called fury that gives you stat boosts whenever you fall below 40% health. You get the idea. It's just a cool additional way to customize your playstyle, And I imagine using certain fuses with certain character combinations might end up being fun to experiment with. There's also the possibility that Riot 
it periodically adds new fuses the same way you'd add characters or stages, you know? Obviously, fuses would likely be far less frequent, but still, it'd be cool to have more released. In fact, the more I think about it, and as I say it out loud, the more I'm almost certain that that's what's gonna happen. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is the roster. On the Project L website, there are the three playable characters of this showcase, Echo, Darius, Ari, and then there are 13 additional blank slots for a total of 16 slots. Now I keep hearing people say a total of 14 slots and I don't know where that number is coming from because currently on the mobile version of the website, it's 16. Maybe they added two since other reports, I don't know. but. It is currently 16 on the mobile version of the website. I counted a bunch of times. And I say on the mobile version of the website because on the PC browser version of the website, it's 11. So who the fuck knows what's going on? All I might be proving is that all of this is unreliable. <laughs> but let me say this. 15 character rosters are the typical bare minimum for fighting games. So it wouldn't surprise me that a free to play fighting game that wants to do things right and not come off as lacking in content, but also launch in a timely manner would target that number 15. However, this being a tag based fighting game would require an even number of characters. So you add one on and you get 16. So if I had to guess, I'd say a 16 character roster at launch. Not 14, not 11, 16. But of course, I can always be wrong. Anyway, although there are only three characters on the website at the time of this recording, we do actually know six of the characters. There are the three that are here, but then there's Jinx, who we've seen in the past, there's Ilawi, who Riot personally revealed to us, and Katarina, who very briefly appeared in what was obviously an early build of the game, way back in what I think was the initial reveal of Project L. And because of that, there is the slight possibility that Katarina could have been scrapped, but I don't think so. So Katarina included, we are then left with 10 characters for anyone to guess at, one of which is being revealed very soon at EVO. Of course, that reveal could just end up being Katarina and then we're left standing in the same place, but <laughs> whatever. Point is, Project L is coming along nicely. I hope for the roster we get some monsters and some yordles, two of each at least. I know it's way easier to have humanoid humans doing human things in fighting games, but some of those freaks and little goblins would be awesome. I honestly think we'll get Poppy. She's got that fucking hammer and that just seems very well suited for a fighting game. It's almost too obvious. Small armored up furry pixie goblin thing with hammer is just such a fighting game character. But yeah, okay, I think I'm done. Tell me who you want or think will be in Project L at launch. And before I go, can we get a fucking title for the game at EVO? I'm so sick of calling this shit Project L. And if you bitches reveal that the game has been called Project L all along and that was the real title and it doesn't have a real fucking name, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> Say the title already. It's time. Enough of this code name nonsense. Pick a name or I'll pick one for you. And I'll just call it League of Fighters and nobody wants that. <laughs> so I'd hurry up if I were you. Alright, I'm finished. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. I really appreciate it. But until next time, I am Waifu Belector. I am just a normal guy. I like hentai and I'm sick of saying Project L. Goodbye.